Now to an on your side exclusive CBD oil is seemingly everywhere these days. It's in beauty products, it's in sleep aids. You can even buy CBD gummies for your dog's nerves. But as of July 1st, CBD is also legal in Florida, but that doesn't mean you can use it, at least if you're a police officer. A memo obtained by First Coast News puts the brakes on CBD use by Jacksonville Sheriff's officers. Tonight on your side's Ann Schindler got a copy of the memo. She joins us now from JSO headquarters. Ann? The memo went out Friday night. Multiple sources tell First Coast News that it was prompted by an officer using CBD oil, whose subsequent drug tests turned up trace amounts of THC. That's the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. CBD oil is an extract of the hemp plant, which was legalized nationwide late last year. Though hemp is in the same family as marijuana, it contains only trace amounts of THC, meaning it doesn't get you high. But that doesn't mean it can't show up on a drug test. The majority of the CBD out there has very little, if, if any, THC content in it, but it's possible that some could. First Coast News crime analyst Mark Bachman, a former DEA agent, says the memo shows JSO trying to adjust to changing times. I think they have to draw the line somewhere with that. The memo from Director Tom Hackney cautions officers that, quote, certain legal hemp products, such as hemp-derived CBD oil, may or may not contain small amounts of THC. It adds, quote, the presence of THC in a member's system, regardless of the source, will place that member in violation of the agency's drug screening program. I don't know if they could do that, to tell you the truth. Tad Delegal is a labor and employment lawyer and the former general counsel for the police union. He doesn't think the memo is enforceable. You can't be disciplined for the use of legal medications. So if the CBD oil is a legal medication, which I believe it is, then um, they can't discipline officers or employees for the use of that legal medication. Delegal says CBD can accumulate in the body and compares it to diet drugs, a legal product that may show up as a positive drug test. It's not an offense to test positive. It's an offense to use illegal drugs. We reached out to Director Hackney for comment. He said the memo was an effort to clarify JSO's substance abuse policy. He says they have not, as yet, had any direct reaction from officers or the police union. Now, we've heard the officer in this case is currently undergoing investigation. We've requested any documents relevant to that investigation. At JSO headquarters in downtown Jacksonville, Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.